the epitome of laziness we have the Yuffie anchor robotic vacuum which is actually super cool because it's a robot vacuum that does the cleaning for you so you don't have to worry about it this model is actually super slim and super thin so it can go under hard to reach places such as coffee tables and I guess some couches depending on how high they go off the ground and even your bed too if you have that under part under your bed that always gets dirty with a bunch of crumbs here you go this thing will solve the problems for you it's only 2.85 inches in height super strong suction power at 1300 PA as well as intelligent boost IQ technology so it knows when to pump up the power. It works on all floor types from hardwood and hard tile to carpet. And come on, it's a robot vacuum. That's just really cool. I got the box upside down. Flip this thing on over. Ah, got it out. Woo! Welcome to hands-free cleaning. We got an owner's manual, a remote control. Nice to see that we have two AAA batteries included. Charging adapter. The charging home base for the robot. An extra filter. Oh, that's awesome. It came with some zip ties so you can clear the wires out of the way for the robot vacuum. We have a little brush comb razor blade combo to clean out the bristles. Four sets of spinning bristles to get all the stuff on the outside of the vacuum into the vacuum. And then we have the vacuum itself. That's it. Let's get that out of the way. This thing's looking nice. Well, this thing is real thin. Okay. Ooh, wow, I'm liking the way this looks. That's like a nice wooden look finish, although it is a glossy plastic. Like, just look at that. We got some wood grain action. That's awesome. And just look how thin this thing is. Wow. On top of the vacuum, we have a power button. We have a Eufy logo. Got some foam in the sides. Let's get rid of that. Over here on the front, we have this nice gloss, which hides all the sensors so it knows not to fall downstairs and run into walls. I'm thinking this is so if it hits a wall, it's like, oh, we hit a wall. Let's turn around. Although, usually they have sensors, so I'm not sure. Guess we'll find out. Over here on the back, we have the actual bin that collects all the debris. It's actually a really big size container for being such a slim vacuum. And it even tells you what the different lights mean, so that's cool. Easy to put on and remove. Down here on the bottom, this is where things get more interesting. Down here on the bottom, we actually have the on and off switch, which is like the main switch, so you can turn it completely off if you have to. You know, in case robots try to take over the world or something. We have this big spinning brush right here, which actually does all the sucking power to suck everything into the bin. And then we have these big wheels here, which as you can see, they got some kind of hydraulic looking action going on here. So it can go over bumps and lumps and go over everything to get to where it needs to go. And then right here, it looks like we have the actual battery, which you can unscrew in case you need to replace it one day. And then down here on the front, we have the spinning wheel, which goes 360 degrees so it can turn around anywhere it needs to go. And then we have the two charging pin connectors that connect to the base and charge up by itself, which is awesome. And then right here on the left and the right of the front is where we're going to install these brush heads. So just pop it in just like that and just like that. So these things can spin around, pull everything around the vacuum into right here so we can go over it and suck it in right here. Science. So really, this thing is awesome. Let's power this thing on. Okay, it's on, all right. Up top, we have the LED light. It means we got power. The one thing I noticed about this particular model is it doesn't have an app support, so you actually have to use this remote control to control it, which kind of sucks, although if you don't care, then I guess it's whatever. I personally prefer to have an app because then you can control the vacuum from anywhere around the world if you really want to. On the bottom of the remote, it actually tells you what the different icons mean. You can adjust the suction power, start spot cleaning, start edge cleaning, start single room cleaning, and return to the charging base just by pressing a button. So on the screen, we actually have a bunch of stuff going on. We have the current time on the top. Down here's the time we want to schedule to clean. And if I tilt this for you, guys you can see all the different settings that can pop up we have standard boost iq max and then the different options right here let me actually get this base plugged in so we can test this thing out on the table real quick so we'll set up the base right here perfect and uh, we got the vacuum over i guess we'll start it off on the base let's do that we can press start it's starting okay it didn't go off the edge of the table that's awesome uh oh <laughs> I forgot I had a bunch of stuff sitting there. So now let's actually get it started again. It's on boost IQ. Went to the edge of the table, turned around. All right. It's doing a good job. Hi. That's cool, okay. So now, what were the options again? We can do spot cleaning. So I wanna clean this spot right here. So it's gonna stay here and do a maximum power in this particular area. That's awesome, I can actually hear the suction got a little bit more powerful too. And now I'm gonna do a crazy test I like to do with robot vacuums. We're gonna set this thing up here randomly. We're gonna move the charging base right here at an angle. And now I'm gonna press return to home and see if it can find the base. So the suction is actually off right now as it seeks the base and okay, it looks like it's actually doing it. 
<laughs> that amazes me. Like, I always thought the base had to be in the same spot, otherwise it would forget where it was and get completely lost. There's obviously something going on in the base inside the robot so it knows exactly where to go which is pretty crazy. Now, another cool thing about the remote is if you want to do it manually for whatever reason, you can actually use the arrow keys to tell it where to go. So we can go back, we can go to the left, we can go straight, we can go back, now return home. Let's see if we can find it. It looks like it might be kind of lost. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, I don't know, it's kind of, it's getting confused. I don't know why I would get confused now. Well, it looks like it's finding it, though. You know what, guys? I don't know how it does it. That's very impressive to me. It knows exactly where to line up to get to it. Science. Or is it magic? Either way, I'm impressed. So now my table looks nice and clean, which is great because it was covered in dust. So now let's actually take this out to a carpet floor and see if it actually works over there. Let's go before more stuff falls. It picked up a lot of pet hair. Ugh. And we are back. This vacuum is actually super nice. I'm loving the way it looks. I'm loving the slim design of it. I'm loving how well it works too. There's only a couple things that are a bit of a drawback for me. The first one, no app support, but that depends on how you decide to use it. The remote control works very well. You can literally do everything with the vacuum, including control it manually. So, I mean, there's no reason you would need the app unless you want to schedule it and change settings from across the world. So there's really no reason you would need the app unless you want to do stuff when you're not at home, which I'm not sure if anyone wants to. All you have to do is schedule it to clean at a certain time and it's good to go every day, whatever. So pretty simple. And the other thing, which I'm not sure what this is, I don't really like that this moves. Another robot vacuum I've tried out, it doesn't have this moving. It's just one solid piece and it, I don't know, it just looks a little better. This kind of makes it look cheap. I'm not sure why that's there. I'm still assuming it's a bumper so it knows, boom, I hit something. I better turn around. Even though it has the sensors, it's more of like a safeguard. So other than that, though, this is a really good vacuum. I'm loving the way it looks, loving the way it works. Definitely recommend it if you want to get a robot vacuum because robot vacuums, they're taking over the cleaning. Pretty soon everyone will be out of a job, but I'm not complaining. Okay. 